Hey guys, and welcome back to a brand new demo. Today we have the brand new Exo Rifle for 600 gems, but up first, we have the new Cosmic Breakthroughs chest. So, our guaranteed items this time around, of course, we have the statuette, and this time we have the mini Springer. Uh, for dyes, we have Winter Chimes, Jade, Glint's Winter Dye, and Solar and Lunar. Then if we scroll on down, our new guaranteed item is the Hologram Outfit, which looks pretty cool. We're going to hopefully grab that uh, on everyone. Looks a bit weird on the face, but we'll see how that goes for all the different races. Particularly interested to see Char, I think. Uh, we have the Ebon Hawk crossbow from the last chest, which we'll hopefully pick up as well. The Dark Matter skins, the Snow Garden skins in rare and we also have the glyph of industry with the glyph of flight and then our harvesting nodes snow truffle ancient wood ori and ghost pepper so let's have a look at 25 of these keys and see what we can get okay here we go then first up we got a springer but also a jade die kit got a guaranteed wardrobe unlock not too shabby got a second one nice I don't know how many of these springers I have already, but I'm pretty sure I have enough now to... <gasps> nice! That was pretty early. Five keys in. That's pretty good. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I have enough of all these minis to start making the... More... Like, all the expensive ones, basically. The final versions. Let's keep going, see if we can't get the crossbow as well. That is, would be ideal. If we could, as we missed out last time. To six of the tier five material bags. Got another winter chimes kit there. If you teleport to friends, you start using those up. Another winter chimes die kit. Transmutation charges, not too shabby. We have ten keys left to try and get this crossbow. It's not looking too too good, but we will have enough to get a golden key as well, if we need to. But we don't need to. Nice. There it is. Happy days. So we have to try that on it as well as the new rifle skin. Though I don't think I have many rifle wielding characters. And we also got a Dark Matter staff. This has been a pretty good opening. They are really cool. And there we go. That has been the Cosmic Breakthroughs chest. Let's have a look at our loot. We didn't actually have too many die kits, but we got Blue Ice. It's our least rarest die for 13 copper. At least rarest die. That eucalyptus die. It is a silver 58. Tarnished die is next for a silver 56. Then we got steel die. What are you worth? Ooh, five silver 38. Not too shabby. Gunmetal die is up next, and that is gonna be placed at one silver 42 and hopefully not undercut too much we got jade ink die as well which we don't have yet and that is between 40 and 50 gold that is quite a nice one to get I'm gonna go for our end of dragon material bags now some wood some jade a few totems not too bad Let's go for our large crafting bags. We have to do our logs today. Bones, vial of blood, 20 dust, 7 fangs, 20 totems, 17 scales, 12 claws, and 16 venom sacks. Oh, and our totems are maxed out too. Might make uh, a gift if I can. We have two heavy crafting bags, for which we've got three blood, two dust, and a claw. Nice. Uh... Transmutation charges, use all them up, and let's move on to the guaranteed wardrobe unlocks. We got the dredge flanged, flanged, flangled, flanged mace, the tempest staff, our third of the tempest skins, a mini spooky griffin, a Balthazar weapon, a Balthazar's torch there, 
and an alchemist weapon for which we got the dagger and then her actual armor unlocks we got Havron Duplis that's probably completely mispronounced but there you go here's the rifle looks pretty good on Asura uh, we'll check that out along with the new exo rifle on a couple of characters if I can I'd have a warrior and an engineer or two that it should be able to work on but let's move on to the hologram outfit let's see what that's all about here it is it looks pretty weird pretty weird indeed the character is a bit transparent which is both cool and interesting it kind of works well oh, oops I didn't mean to do that <laughs> it kind of works well with the sab infusion maybe with the blue bobble infusion it would work better it just kind of matches Right. Very interesting indeed. Yeah. Let's have a look at the dye channels. So we currently have on Midnight Teal with Khaki on top and then Blue Tint and Night Air. The default doesn't tell me because it's just die remover, but it looks like it's just a form of blue with white highlights. So here is the default. And this is without post processing now as well. It's really weird the sort of vibration y pattern, line pattern, I don't know, this, I know there's a term for it, but it's reminding me of uh, wrong frequency vibes with light, you know, if you're ever recording it, the lights are at a different fre frequency to your camera frame rate. That's the word I'm looking for. Or else, I guess, more just like a, a CRT telly or something. That would also work. The good old cathode ray tube. Here is full Shadow Abyss, still transparent through Shadow Abyss. Uh, that's really weird. The fuzziness or whatever. I'm trying to, I don't know what to describe it as. Let's go for the individual dye channel. So top left seems to be the main part of the face, scalp and torso. Top right seems to be the ears, the feet, the arms, a little bit around the chest. Bottom left is the sort of um, the lines throughout the outfit. Bottom right is the aura, the eyes, some of these sort of suckety things. Pretty cool. And here is a contrasting layer. Blue on the top left, green on the top right, purple on the bottom left, and orange on the bottom right. Kind of hard to see that that way. That's a bit easier. And that's how all the different layers interact with each other. I like the pattern on the top right layer there. The green. Nice bit of passion to it. A bit of texture. Right, let's move on to some other characters and hopefully get a few rifle showcases in there as well. Here we go. Here we are with the hologram outfit on human. Looking pretty nice with the white blue and uh, I should say red with the blue highlights I should say. Looking fairly nice indeed. We just have the Ebon Hawk rifle here. looks pretty good of course we also have the exo rifle so let's check that out I do like how the 
Evan Hawk rifle had its unique sound effect, but here is the Exo rifle on Silvari. Looking fairly schnazzy. It's giving me kind of, um, I guess, Halo vibes. There we go. We got our kill. All in all, quite a cool rifle and outfit. Let's have a look at the dyes on the outfit. We have Crimson Lion and White on top with Murky Grey and Cyanide down below. And let's head on over to Human. Here we go. Why does no one have a rifle? And if they did, I probably can't use them. Yeah. Not ideal. We do have the outfit, of course. Uh, I'm just looking for a rifle. So, here we are on human with the outfit. Actually, something I haven't tested yet is I am curious... Oh, I don't even have headgear on this character. This is their headgear. I'll try that on the next character um, to see if there is headgear change or shoulder change. Typically there is, but yeah, I have no headgear on this character, so I can't really tell. Can I? No, I can't disable it or enable it. We have our Coder 2 rifle here, the Ebon Hawk, looking fairly good yet again. Quite like this rifle. Let's have a look at the new rifle, the Exo Rifle. Again, looking pretty good as well. Pretty good indeed. Pretty look at what I'm doing. I'm pretty under leveled. I could outrun a centaur. I don't have enough energy. Nice. Right, let's have a look at these die channels. We have Seabreeze on top with Brick and then Rawhide and Enameled Sacrifice down below, giving us this nice looking appearance here. Oh, that was good for a thumbnail. Thank you very much. All right, let's move on to our next character, the Norn. Here we go. The turtle's actually really good for this event. I always forget that. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> there we go. I don't remember how to play Warrior. I have no idea how to. <clears throat> I should have put the rifle on. Oh, I'm dope. And um, what? Well, I don't even know if I have a rifle. But I should have had it on for the event. That was perfect place to be like, hey, look, I have a new rifle. This is what it looks like in combat. I'm Warrior. Why did I not do that? I don't even have a rifle. That's why. Let me go get a rifle. Okay, now we have a rifle. And the new outfit here on Norn. This is our Ebon Hawk rifle. Looking well. 
Let's swap over to the Exo Rifle. Here we are with that. Ooh. Looking nice. I think you could definitely match the outfit to the rifle as well, tur tur turquoise. Eventually I'll get it. Eventually we'll get turquoise. Okay, maybe not. Maybe that could have worked actually. Oh, that was it. We'll try this. Uh, morning Sea, Matt, Copper Penny, Earthen. Oh, I just changed my... Cape as well, didn't mean to do that. But yeah, look, you can kind of match it. Looks pretty good. Nice. I have to remember what my cape was dyed as. Right, let's move on to Char. Yeah, it looks okay. I don't think it is right. Here we are on Char with the new outfit. Unfortunately, I don't have a Char with a rifle, which is a bit annoying. But we will do a preview just to get a quick look as well. Very interested to see what they did with the face. Oh, actually. No, there's no change. No change at all if you have a hat on or not. And then... What's the change to the horns? Is there? Oh, I... Need to take that the hat off for that. So the, the horns do change to a default horn setup. Which is a shame. But kind of expected. And here is the rifle, just in preview, which is a bit annoying, but looks very much like the Norn size. The dyes here are midnight purple and dust on top with white gold and squash down below. All right, well, let's head back to Quando to wrap up the video. Here we go. That looks good. Blue steel, blush, summer sky, eerie purple. Oh yeah, it looks good in the dark as well. Right, that is it for today's demo, guys. I do hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did and subscribe for more in the future. You can head on over to this week's giveaway to be in with a chance to win the rifle or some black line keys to hopefully win the outfit as well. The link for that should be in the end screen. And that is it for me for today. I'm hoping to be back a bit more productive this week. A uh, bit of a hectic the last few weeks when I've been trying to get back into things. But yeah, hopefully I'll be able to get a stream in, maybe two. One for Dragon Bash and one for... Gaiala. But I'm going to have to do a few in Gaiala because I am far behind. But that should be fun to get back into that. Hopefully. Hopefully Thursday. Hopefully. Maybe tomorrow. We shall see. But anyway, until next time, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more in the future. You can check out the Discord, the link for that is down below, or support the channel through Super Thanks or the membership program. And until next time, take care.